There might be another planet that supports life thousands of light years away from Earth. 69C Kepler. And you're about to visit this alien world to observe that life firsthand. A possible super Earth can be found in the Cygnus constellation, 2,383 light years from Earth. At least that is how it is frequently referred to. An exoplanet called Kepler 69C is about 1.7 times bigger than Earth. Additionally, it might be about 3.5 times bigger. There's a catch, though. It's unclear to us whether this planet is situated in its star's habitable zone. Kepler 69C would be too hot to have liquid water on its surface if it were too close. Well, it would be little more than a freezing world if it were too distant from its sun. Kepler 69C orbits its star around 40% closer than Earth orbits the Sun, that much is certain. And that might indicate that it isn't a true super-Earth. It might be an enhanced Venus. Would you find life if you came all the way here, then? Or a hot, oppressive environment that boils every drop of water on Earth? There would be one very crucial item to keep in mind before you set off on your trek to Kepler 69C. It is far off. Our nearest companion star, Proxima Centauri, is over 600 times farther away. You wouldn't arrive there anytime soon, not even if you could move at 1% the speed of light. You could round the planet in slightly over 13 seconds at this speed. And how do you go to Kepler 69C? You'd need around 238,000 years to complete it. You would require a highly developed hibernation pod to even be able to make this journey. You don't want to get too old and pass away before you even reach your target, you know. Am I correct? However, there isn't presently technology that would allow you to hibernate for over 200,000 years. Then then, this is what if. Everything is conceivable. Any life that may be on Kepler 69C today may have evolved or progressed into something altogether different by the time your ship arrives. Consider it in this manner. Stone tools and spears were just being developed by humans 300,000 years ago. And now look at you traveling throughout the galaxy. Who knows what alterations to our human civilization would take place on the planet you left behind during your journey. No matter what, it's far too late to change course at this point. Our knowledge of Kepler 69C's distance from its star tells us that it receives about as much sunlight as Venus does. Additionally, it has a comparatively low density while being more massive than Earth. This simply indicates that this rocky planet is formed of silicate and carbonate minerals rather than metals. That might make things a little more challenging. You see, Kepler 69C might have an extremely thick atmosphere due to the abundance of minerals in the crust. And to make matters worse, the majority of the atmosphere in this scenario would contain carbon dioxide. Oh no, did you pick the incorrect super-Earth to visit? Yes, Kepler 69C would be a very hot planet if it were anything like Venus. All because its clouds would trap the heat and produce a severe greenhouse effect, just like Venus does. The atmosphere of Kepler 69C would be trapped in a never-ending cycle of thickening and heating. But no one asserted that you should be able to live in this world. Oh no. You'd probably melt and suffocate the moment you removed your helmet. As I already stated, life on this planet would not at all resemble your conception of it. Surface temperatures might reach as high as 475 degrees Celsius 900 degrees Fahrenheit as you drew near. Additionally, the atmosphere's pressure would be more than 90 times greater than on Earth at sea level. It would be comparable to being 900 meters, 3,000 feet, under the sea. However, you would be on dry land. You probably wouldn't find anything approximating an ocean here given the current circumstances. The tremendous temperatures would boil away all the water, just like on Venus. Any life you could come across on this planet would have to be able to endure these harsh conditions. Or it would have to be there below the surface, somewhere else. Up in the clouds would be one location where you might find life on Kepler 69C. The air would be much, much colder at a height of about 50 kilometers, 30 miles. The temperatures would be in the 30 to 70 degrees Celsius, 
86 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit, range. Additionally, due to its low density, this planet may have a surface gravity that is slightly higher than that of Earth, at little over 70%. Given that Kepler 69c is most habitable in the sky, this reduced gravity would enable life to flourish there. It's possible that life is just free to float in the atmosphere. Another way in which this planet might resemble Venus more than Earth is through this circumstance. Probes orbiting Venus have detected evidence of phosphine, a chemical that may be an early indicator of life. If you found phosphine on Kepler 69c, it might have come from microbes that don't need oxygen to exist. But prepare to pinch your nose. This noxious gas smells like decomposing fish. The phosphine-producing bacteria are typically found in wetlands or swamps on Earth. However, these bacteria might be able to survive in the dense, oxygen-free atmosphere on Venus or Kepler-69c. To find the smallest and smelliest of life forms, you may have ultimately traveled a very, very long way. On the plus side, you've just learned about alien life. Why not check to see if there are any other habitable planets nearby, perhaps with higher developed life forms? Similar to Kepler 22b. That, however, is a tale for another Raju online.